from the station that's on your side. Winner of the Evening Newscast Emmy Award. This is Channel 7 News at 5. When you hear the term regenerative medicine, you might think of stem cells or experimental science. But as Channel 7's Janelle Lilly tells us, this cutting-edge medicine is already in our backyard, and Ortho, Arkansas is putting it to use, Janelle. Well, Chris, the goal of this type of medicine is to help a person's body heal itself. They use stem cells, blood platelets, and even donated umbilical cords, then inject them into the degenerating areas of the body. It sounds like voodoo science, but surprisingly, regenerative medicine isn't all that new. Regenerative medicine has been around for a long time in the form of bone marrow transplant, but only more recently has it been uh, being used for orthopedic and pain applications. Ron George is 72 years old. I can't even do a three-quarter knee bend right now. He's not alone. By the time someone is 85, about one in two people have doctor diagnosed knee arthritis. And arthritis is the leading cause of disability in the United States. Back pain being the second leading cause of disability. Until now, the best option was to replace the knee or just try to treat the pain. But with regenerative medicine, the goal is to reverse the problem. Ron George could hardly believe how painless the procedure was, especially compared to his other option of a knee replacement. Unlike a steroid injection where it might work for three or six months. The hope with this is that if it regenerates the tissue and um, helps the body's own healing process to take place, that you only need one of these injections. Ron's cells were taken from a donated umbilical cord. In a month, he hopes to find out that his knee isn't just feeling better, it's actually regenerating. I want to go back playing golf more. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to walk more. And uh, this show gave me the opportunity. And one really interesting thing is that the stem cells and platelets are actually taken from the patient's own body, then injected into the area that needs it. The umbilical cords are donated by women who have had C-sections. Beth? Right. So interesting, mm -hmm. Janelle. Thanks a lot. The cost of the procedure is about $2,000, but that's compared to $40,000 for a knee replacement. Some nice savings yeah. there, no doubt.